Vaccine really can't come soon enough, and tomorrow we could learn more about the shot from Pfizer. One of the company's top officials will be joining Missouri Governor Mike Parson for a news conference. You can see it live on the KCTV5 Facebook page beginning at 9 in the morning. Pfizer has a research and development facility in Chesterfield, just outside of St. Louis. But getting the shot to KC might be a challenge. The vaccine must be kept at 94 degrees below zero. KCTV5's Emily Rittman is live outside the University of Kansas Health System. And Emily, it's one of the few places that can store vaccines at that specific temperature. Ellen Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine could be approved for use as early as next month. Local health officials are working to determine how they could distribute it and store it. Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine is currently stored inside 350 ultra cold freezers as the company waits for FDA approval. Here in the metro, similar freezers are available to store the vaccine if needed at the University of Kansas Health System. Uh, not very common that we have products or medications that need to be stored at that temperature. The Pfizer vaccine will require patients to receive two separate shots 21 days apart. We have to keep the product very cold and shipped uh, in very much sub freezing temperatures. Pfizer plans to use suitcase sized cooling boxes to distribute the vaccine using a deep cold storage supply chain. Once they take it out of the ice, they can keep it five days in the normal freeze. So we have worked extensively to develop this distribution network. The recommendations Local health officials say they are working to minimize distribution challenges. I know the hospitals and the leaders in the metro area are going to pull together and we're going to figure out a way to store the vaccine. According to Dr. Anthony Fauci, the two dose vaccine will likely be available to most Americans by April. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. Yeah, it's nice to feel like we can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, but uh, we still have a little bit of a ways to go. All right, Emily, thank you.